Hello, my artists and learners. Today, we are finishing our color focus, talking about Leonid Afrimov. His quote is, true art is alive and inspired by humanity. I believe that art helps us to be free from aggression and depression. And during these unusual times of the pandemic, I think we all need to turn to art as inspiration and to help us be free from our aggression and our depression and all these other feelings. His work is joyous. The way he uses light and color is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'm gonna do something different. We're gonna to look together and scroll through some examples of his work on a website so you can see multiple examples while I talk a little bit about his style. And again, the focus for today is on color and really that vibrant use of the paint palette. So let's take a look together. So as you're looking at this piece, and like I mentioned, I'm going to scroll through other paintings as I talk. Uh, I want you to really look at that palette. He is known, as I said, for, for light and color. And as you're looking at these paintings, you should see emotion, you should see expression. What's interesting about his work is that he did not use a paintbrush. He used what's called a paint palette to make these strokes. So texture is really important in his work. He wanted to capture everyday scenes and have a really joyous, uh, happy feeling through his paintings. A lot of times you'll see reflections, cityscapes, everyday average moments in life captured through the use of oil paint and texture. Now he uh, originally actually grew up in Russia. He's a Belarusian, Belarusian painting. He grew up in the same town as Marc Chagall and we learned about that artist the other week. Um, and he fled Russia uh, due to uh, dis Jewish discrimination and it was after the Chernobyl disaster. And then he moved and had a studio in Tel Aviv. So at that time, in Tel Aviv, he, he was a very successful artist. He then eventually moved to the United States and finished his career only recently passing last year um, in Mexico. So this, uh, we'll just land kind of on this piece. And again, all of his work has joy in it, has happiness, has color, has vibrancy. So I encourage you to look at this artist and keep exploring color, keep exploring passion, life, art, and we will continue talking next week.